Welcome to Seaway Whiskey Wire. Tonight at the bar, we're going to do a classic old fashioned cocktail. It's going to be good. Stick around. Welcome to Seaway Whiskey Wire. I'm Tyler, and like I said, tonight at the bar, we're going to do a classic old fashioned cocktail. Uh, you know, really a staple drink that anybody who bart bartends at home should really know how to, uh, how to do. I'm actually going to show you two ways to do it today. Uh, one's going to be a very traditional style and the other one is going to be how I personally make it. Uh, it may be a little bit different. So I'll show you both ways so you can uh, get a feel for it. But yeah, relatively, it's a, it's a very simple drink to make, very few ingredients. Uh, first thing you need is bitters, so you get some Angostura bitters or orange bitters, whatever you want. I prefer Angostura in, in my old fashion. Uh, secondly, you're going to use uh, simple syrup. So simple syrup that I've got here is homemade and it's uh, a one to one ratio, one part sugar to one part water. And then we've got your spirit of choice. Now you can use any spirit you would like, uh, whiskey, bourbon, scotch, tequila, rum. The recipe is pretty much the same across, but to, uh, for, to, for tonight I'm going to stick with, the, with what we know, and that's whiskey. And I'll go with a 99 red, uh, red wine cask finish. Very, very good uh, blended whiskey from Canada here, and I really do enjoy it. Anything under the, the Wayne Gretzky line is very, very good. I especially like the maple cask. If you get a chance to see that out in, out in the wild, uh, pick that up. You won't, you won't regret it. It's very good as well. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. All you need there, and then uh, yeah, we'll start off by having our empty mixing vessel. You want to take a little bit of your Angostura bitters here, and you want two good dashes of Angostura bitters, like a little bit more in there. I got these Angostura bitters from a little local place where uh, where I'm from here, called uh, called Top Shelf Distillers in Perth, Ontario. Very good. They make all sorts of little. Uh, bitters like this. They also make very good vodka, gin. They've got a brand of whiskey too, so I highly recommend you check them, those guys out. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I'm going to put my put their um, their website and information down below in the description. Feel free to check them out. You won't regret it. They also do some uh, some moonshine and some flavored liqueurs too. Very good stuff. Um, yeah, next is going to be your simple syrup. So simple syrup, I like to add about two bar spoons. You might want to go a little less if you... Uh, if you don't like to, to it, like it too sweet, but traditionally it's two bar spoons. We'll just take a bar spoon, dump that in. There's one. Second one coming right up, two. Very good. And on to three, your spirit of choice, which for us is the Canadian blended whiskey from Wayne Gretzky. Mm, very nice, sweet whiskey. So you want two ounces of that. And put that right in your vessel. And that's it. That's all you need to mix there. So, ready our glass. In this case here, I've got the large ice cube to go in. Place that in so. And then we'll get some ice into the mixing vessel. Some nice fresh cubes. Again, spirit forward drinks. You really wanna get some nice cubes in there. And then you wanna get to stirring. You want to stir for somewhere in the vicinity of 25 to 30 seconds, maybe a little bit more, depending on how diluted you want this. I'm not super uh, fresh on dilution, but if you're starting out or you're making this for a friend that uh, isn't super experienced with spirit forward uh, cocktails, then you want to go for about 30 seconds there just to give them that ample piece of dilution. Okay, that just looks about right there. Give a little taste there for flavor. Yep, very good. Not too sweet at all. Uh, next, grab your Gila strainer or your Hawthorne strainer, whatever you have. Pardon me. <laughs> and you want to just get to pouring right over top there. Nice. Sexy pour. Almost dumped it over there a minute ago. And there you have yourself an old-fashioned. Cheers. Now, usually you would garnish this with some orange peel or cherry or something like that. I prefer uh, just to keep it like light and keep it like this if I'm doing it at home. But yeah, you're welcome to garnish it with some with orange peel or a cherry or what have you. But uh, yeah, cheers and uh, we'll give it a little taste. Mm, yeah, so like I said, it's a, it's a classic cocktail. Very balanced. Um, it, it it really kind of all combines. It's a little bit sweeter, especially if you use like a Canadian whiskey like I did. Um, but uh, yeah, very well balanced. It's spirit forward, but 
you don't get that alcohol burn the ice the ice and the dilution is really kind of keeping that at bay and you get some nice aromatics off of those those bitters there so yeah, yeah try it yourself at home you're not it's not going to disappoint you're going to realize and, and see why this is such a classic cocktail and why this is something you you have when do we when do i usually drink these you know probably on the deck in the summertime after a meal is nice uh you know, if you're just sitting around by the fire watching the game or something like that, nice to have one in your hand as well. If you don't feel like getting into a, into a you know a heavy scotch or a bourbon or whatnot, and you just want to have something that's easy and approachable, and you know even I would say to go to the degree of saying it's refreshing, this is a great choice for you. All right, well I'll leave you with that one, for, and we'll get on to the uh, the second one. So stay tuned, and we'll see you, see you on the other side for the uh, the second uh, drink. Welcome back for part two. So this is the way I generally would uh, would make myself an old fashioned to enjoy around the house and and uh, whatnot, especially on a nice uh, nice winter day like today. So it basically starts off the same. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit instead of Angostura bitters. I'm gonna go with uh, some nice spiced up chocolate bitters again from Top Shelf Distilleries in Perth, Ontario. Throw about three or four of those in there because I do like it quite a bit. And instead of uh, simple syrup, I'm gonna use some uh, some homemade maple syrup. This is actually made by my uh, my my old my dear old dad. <laughs> he makes this maple syrup every year, and I we use it on pancakes and whatnot, but uh, also whiskey cocktails. So, thanks, Dad, for the uh, maple syrup. You want about two bar spoons of that? I'll stick that in there, and uh, yeah, really really brightens it up, makes it a little more Canadian, if I can say that. On to our spirit of choice again. We use 99 Red Cask, and again, two ounces of that. Right into the vessel, beautiful. And before we add ice, I'm gonna ready my, my glass. We're gonna smoke this uh, this cocktail again. I've got some oak chips set up here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of fire here. And we'll just hit it with some fire there, torch it. Let's get some good smoke going in there. Put the snuffer on. Let that glass smoke away, and now we'll add our ice to our vessel here. And we'll just mix away. Again, about 30 seconds of mixing time. We'll take the snuffer off there, let that smoke kind of get out of the glass so it doesn't stale up in there. Mmm, you can always smell that oak, uh, that oak smoke coming off there. A little taste. Yep, that's pretty good dilution. Again, add a nice big cube to your cocktail glass. Grab your Hawthorne strainer or your julep strainer in my case and pour away. And there you go. I know I said I don't like to add, uh, <laughs> add garnish to it, but... I think in this case, uh, being the special it is here on this this nice day here, we're gonna add a uh, the Luxardo cherry to finish that up. I'll just set that into the cup, They're kind of into the side there. And there you have it, your whiskey your whiskey maple old fashioned. Cheers. Smoked with oak. I should have mentioned. Very good, and yeah, I prefer it with the maple syrup. You get that sweetness. The, the maple adds that little bit of of complexity to it. It's not as as just in your face with with the sugars. It's also kind of a different type of sweetness. It's more of a brown sugar sweetness again. That maple syrup, um, and the chocolate bitters just kind of make it a little more. It, it adds that little bit of bitter component to it, um, but uh, also just aromatically makes it uh, makes it kind of that nice dark chocolate in there. And uh, yeah, all complemented by your your 99 red cask here as well. Uh, nice warming and uh, and sweet notes there from the red wine uh, cask influence. So yeah, very very good. Um, I'm going for another sip here. And uh, yeah, the oak uh, the oak smoke just kind of ties it all together. Really kind of makes it more authentic to that uh, to enjoying the whiskey and the uh, the atmosphere and whatnot. So there you go. Thanks for joining us today on uh, on Seaway Whiskey Wire. How do you like your old fashions? Is there something special that you do for your old fashions that you could share with us and, sh and allow our audience to see as well? And if you like what we're doing here, please like and subscribe down below. Love seeing you guys watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. Love your comments and all that good stuff. 
So thank you very much for joining around. We'll keep bringing you more uh, whiskey drams and cocktail slams. Cheers. Thank you.